guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to attempt the um, apply my makeup with only my hands. As you can see, this is what it turned out to be. Um, you know what, it wasn't so bad. I actually did pretty good applying it other than my brows. They don't look so bad. They don't, no, they don't look so bad. Um, but anyway, so if you want to see how I achieve this look by applying my makeup with my hands, please keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, no time to waste. So I'm just going to do the normal stuff that I do with my hands, which comes first anyway. So I am going to apply my lip moisturizer and I'm using the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Keep my lips moist. Ooh, feels good. Just got to doing a lip scrub. Um, and then I'm going to apply the Hey Honey 24-7 um, Honey Moisturizer with my hands. Now I am going to try to put on my brows <laughs> with my fingers. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we shall see. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color chocolate. I'm gonna take my pinky finger, scoop a little bit up, and see what we can do. <clears throat> okay. So far, so good. I'm so glad my nails grew back. They grow back pretty fast, though. Take my concealer, I'm going to use my NARS concealer in the color Ginger. I'm not going to use the brush, I'm going to take it on my fingernail and do the same thing that I normally would do. And I'm just going to try to carve out my brows. Okay. Take some concealer that's left over on my fingers and just dab it in the front so that it's not so dark. I'm going to use this um, NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer for my face. I am tripping. And then for the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use this Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I have an aunt named Mott. Hey Mott, <laughs> if you watch it. That's just her nickname. All right, so I got the primer on. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Carly Bible palette and highlighter. Um, let's see, I'm going to use this color right here. That's my transition color. All right, so I'm going to take that shade that I just said 
put it in my transition. I'm gonna use it as a transition shade. Put it in my crease. Ooh, and I like this primer. Okay, I'm using this color as my transition shade. Okay, so I'm using this color here as my lid shade. And I'm just going to pack this on my lid. Then I'm just going to go back in with the transition shade and just try to blend it out as much as possible. All right, I'm not gonna attempt to put on any mascara, so I am just going to apply some false lashes. Right here, put those on. Okay, so while the uh, lashes are getting ready, I'm just going to apply some of this um, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores um, powder just to take some of my pores away. I'm taking a little sponge off, put it in my spots where I have the most pores. Alright, one lash down, one lash to go. Now I'm going to take my um, NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Moisturizer in the color Annapurna and I'm just going to apply that with my hands. Oh, hold on. Can't, can't, I can't use the bottle. My bad. Dabbing this on my face. Ay, ay, ay. So far, I think the only thing that's kind of funky looking on my brows. So the next thing that I need to do is apply my concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same concealer that I used to carve out my brows, the NARS concealer in the color Ginger. I'm gonna take that on my finger and just put it under my eyes in the normal places. I am going to dab it in and not rub it in. What's left over on my forehead. Take a little bit more, put on my cupid. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually set my face. So I'm just going to take some Laura Mercier translucent powder and just apply it on there. I'm going to use my Bahama Mama by the ball because I want this area oh Lord, to be a little darker. I have my hair out of my face so I need to lower that forehead a little bit. Now I'm going to take nothing, nothing. Now I'm gonna take this blush by Avon in the color 
Coral Myth. It's a very nice color. What's that color there? Really nice. And oh, 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 and it's very pigmented as you can see. So I'm just going to put that on my cheek, bring it up, take another finger, and just dab it to blend it out. Now I am going to take some highlighter from the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to use use this shade today this one take that and I'm just going to go on my cheekbone and just because we love highlight I'm gonna take my arts couture um, highlight in the color conceited Take a little bit of that, and I'm gonna put it on top. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, yeah! Now that's pretty. All right, so the next thing I am going to do is apply, I think I'm just gonna apply some liquid lipstick. I don't even use, um, lip liner with lip with liquid lipstick so just gonna let's see what I can use I'm gonna use my ColourPop liquid uh, lipstick in La Mer 2 it's this one just gonna apply it on my finger and this was a lot easier than I thought it would be honestly yeah that looks pretty good so what I'm going to do is when I was putting on my concealer and stuff, I kind of wiped a little bit of my eyeshadow off on this side. So I'm just going to take that first color that I used and I'm just going to dab it on there. There we go. Yay! And I'm going to take this uh, shade here and I'm going to put it under well on my bottom lash line this may mess it up because it just looks it looks presentable right now but I'm gonna try to put that on my lower lash line I think we did it all right so um, the last thing that I think I'm going to do is try to attempt to put on some setting spray I'm going to use my Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray the oil control one and I'm just going to put some in my hands and spritz my face If you like this look and this challenge, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Abby Red, Abby Red.